the title of the video hopefully gave away what's inside of this box and as you can tell the box has been opened I kind of opened it just to make sure nothing was broken in there this came in about two and a half months ago and I really haven't had time to open it properly so I figured let me do an unboxing video as you may have guessed this is a mini mill so let's get to it Well, before I remove it off of this base, this thing is, well, filthy, so... Time to remove it from the packing crate. Well, this is probably the lightest machine tool I have, or second lightest machine tool I have. Still heavy and cumbersome, deceptively so. And I can, I can already tell if she's out of alignment. She is leaning to the right. That stupid flexible column that they insist on making these with. Yeah. But onwards and upwards. I'm going to install the handle. So I have my antique oiler here. Believe it or not, that feels so much better.
how to hopefully remove that chuck out of the R8 taper. You need three things. Two of them are included and one you need to bring yourself. Soft face hammer. This has 3D printed ends on it. 17 millimeter wrench, which is this. And you get this funny looking pin. The pin goes in the hole on the side over here. You bring it, turn it until it pulls in, like so. You heard it click. Loosen it partially, lock the coil here, so it'll give it a good whacking. And there's the R8 drill chuck. Primarily I did clean it, for the most part. Looks nice. It's not a bad chuck. Pendle. Peels pretty good. This is the draw bar. It's a little shoulder adapter here. Goes in there like so. Draw bar is here. So I did buy some tools for this thing. This is an R8 collet that's got a three-quarter inch bore in it that's short. There's the first project. For this collet, I need a different draw bar. And the factory draw bar, a different thread. It goes in a couple of turns, but it's obvious that it's a different thread. I take it to the hardware store, find out what kind of thread this is, and then make a new draw bar. Regardless, what this is for is for these ER20 tool holders that go into this draw bar and I would go in here. This is a very similar system to the Tormach tooling system. is these tools you register on the spindle bore or I should say on the spindle face and once the tool draws it closed hold this very well these are ER 20s I bought two of these so to recap on what is included with mine T nuts, 
a set of uh, Allen wrenches. A set of spanners with uh, 36, 19, 17, 17, 14, 10 and 8. And um, basically this is a pin spanner. A couple of uh, nuts that were used to secure it to the base. An R8 drill chuck with key and draw bore. And the shield for when you're milling. Shield goes here. Uh, I'm not going to put it on right now. I will put it on later. I am not sure what to say about this. It's um, it's something that I wanted for a very long time. I always wanted one of these mini mills. I have some plans on doing some projects with this thing. I think for the money it's actually a very acceptable piece. Um, the table on this actually reminds me of uh, the Atlas MFC table. The design is very very similar. Uh, although I think the Atlas table may be slightly thinner. And this is actually feels a little bit beefier. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, adjustable tilt on this. I'm sure I'm probably gonna if this becomes a problem, as I'm sure it will be, because a lot of people have had issues with the tilting mechanism, throwing things out of whack. I haven't thrown a micrometer on a spindle yet. Although I'm not sure I really like the bearings in this thing. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a kit that's partially assembled. Um, the the screws on this thing are okay. The, the dovetails are decent machine, have decent machining. It's nothing spectacular. It's, they're, they're a little sharp. Uh, they do need deburring. This machine most likely is going to get taken apart. God knows, probably more than once. And um, depending on how the bearings test out, I may replace the bearings right away. I do know I have to make a new draw bar so I can actually start using some end mills in this thing. Um, I do not like the gear train in this thing. This is in high speed. It makes quite a racket. I think maybe a belt drive conversion is going to be on the level. Um, yeah, like I said, I have always wanted one of these, and uh, I got it on uh, sale, and I found a really good coupon on it that dropped the price by almost 30% so uh, shipped to my door this thing was just about 500 bucks US um, I think that's not actually too bad for what you get um, it really all depends on how it's gonna run I haven't cut anything with it yet and uh, I guess the first project for the mill is gonna be making parts for the mill. Let's make some tools for tools. Alrighty then, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.